Hi, in this lesson we'll be looking at the artworks and paintings from Pompeii. And these artworks and paintings are quite beautiful and they can tell us so much about the lives of the people who lived in the cities. Pompeii, Pompeii had evidence of in official inscriptions. There were wall paintings, especially in the homes of wealthy people. And there was evidence of graffiti. And some people may criticise graffiti and say it's a really bad thing, especially in the modern world today. But graffiti actually existed 2,000 years ago in Pompeii, and we can learn so much from that. We can learn so much from what the people were writing. There were also statues and mosaics, which can tell us so much about the lives of people in Pompeii. We can see these beautiful artworks. We can see how skilled the people were to make them. We can see how wealthy they were to make such things, but we, all, we can also get a better glimpse of the people from these artworks. There are many official inscriptions in Pompeii. There are almost 3,000 election notices on the walls of Pompeii. In Pompeii, they did have a bit of democracy. They had voting and they had elections like we do today, and people would campaign for positions. So there might be a slogan on the wall that says, vote for this person or vote for th that person. Just like in Australia today, we have elections and the politicians have television commercials and so on and posters. People in Pompeii also would campaign and put slogans out there to try to encourage people to vote for them. Pompeii had an active political life and people campaigned for their positions. Many wealthy people had paintings on their walls. So just as today, when you go into a person's home, there might be a painting on the wall. People in Pompeii also would have paintings on their walls. But it wouldn't just be something you would hang up. It might be an actual painting actually on the wall itself. These paintings show us a lot about the people of Pompeii and their daily life. Here is one famous picture from Pompeii. This is a couple that lived in the city. And this is a wonderful picture, and it's a wonderful thing that tells us about the people of Pompeii. We can see what they looked like. We can see the types of clothes they were wearing. We can see their hairstyles. So you've got a man here who's got quite a short haircut, and the woman whose hair looks a bit short as well. So this is a couple, and it's quite extraordinary to look into their faces and look into their eyes. You know, these people lived 2,000 years ago. They might have died in the volcanic eruption. Some people did get out, some people did escape, but we don't know whether they made it or not. So it's quite interesting and haunting and a bit sad to, to look at their faces, but we can learn from this. We can learn so much about these people. The Villa of the Mysteries is a villa in Pompeii. There were many luxury homes in Pompeii and Herculaneum. Uh, there, there was lots of different people in Pompeii. There, there were slaves, there were poor people, but there were some rich people who lived in magnificent villas. The Villa of the Mysteries is one villa in Pompeii. It's much like other villas in Pompeii, but, this, but it has one unusual feature. It has a room located at the front, which is decorated with beautiful pictures on the walls. And this is just one of the pictures that was taken from the walls of the villa. In this painting, we can get a sense of what life was like in Pompeii. We can see what people looked like and the clothes they wore. So you can see they didn't have a pair of jeans or something like that. And this child, for some reason, he doesn't have any clothes on at all. It's believed the series of paintings in the villas are showing an initiation ritual. Here is a wall painting from the Villa of the Papyri in Herculaneum. So you can see You've got quite a beautiful picture here of what looks like a child with wings. There were also many statues found in the Villa of the Papyri. The Villa of the, the Papyri was a magnificent residence which was just outside of Herculaneum and it overlooked the sea. It was the home of a very wealthy person and it's believed that it was owned by a relative of Julius Caesar. This residence was about 250 metres in length. To put that in perspective, a football field is about 100 metres in length, and this house would have been about two and a half football fields. It was a magnificent residence, and it had lots of things there. It had paintings, it had marble statues, 
it had bronze statues. And we can learn so much about the people from these things. This is one of the statues found in the Villa of the Papyri. So this is an extraordinary statue. I mean, it looks like a human being, but it's actually a statue. You might even think it was a painted human being. So you can see these people were so artistic and so skilled, but they were also so rich. Whoever owned this, this statue must have been very wealthy to be able to buy such a thing. So the artworks show us the wealth and the skill of the people and also give us a further glimpse into their lives. There was a lot of marble and bronze statues and most of them were in good condition. Here was another statue from the villa. There were also other statues. For example, there was one of Scipio Africanus showing him as bald and with a tattoo on his scalp. Scipio Africanus was an ancient Roman general and some people believe that the continent of Africa is actually named after him. Although some people say that's not true now, but some people believe Africa may have been named after him. So it's just very interesting that he was meant to be this great Roman general and um, yet he's just shown as bald and with a tattoo on his scalp. Now this is very interesting and this is something I really like. This is a mosaic in Pompeii and it's actually a beware of the dog sign. Now even in Australia today, some people have a beware of the dog sign at their house. So if a burglar comes in, they might see the, the beware of the dog sign and they get worried. They think, oh no, there's a dog. I, I better leave. I better not go in the backyard. The dog might attack me. That's what some people do today. But isn't it extraordinary? 2,000 years ago in Pompeii, people had these beware of the dog signs. So some people would look at that and they might think, oh no, there's a dog. I better be careful. I better run away. The dog might attack me. Now, this is also a mosaic, right? It's not a painting. So with a painting, you would have a brush and you just paint something nice like Rembrandt or Picasso. You just paint something. This is actually a mosaic. So what you're looking at is lots of little stones that have been colored. So you can, you can see the stones actually. You can see all these stones. So they've got all these little stones and they've put them down and they've created this beautiful mosaic. And you've got the dog, it's a beware of the dog sign, but it's made in the form of a mosaic. And there was a few of these in Pompeii, not just one. So just as people today have signs like this, so did people back then, which is quite amazing. And this is another mosaic of a woman from Pompeii. So once again, it just gives us a glimpse of the people. We can see her hairstyle. This is the second woman I've seen who, who has her hair sort of short and back. So we remember the other picture of the other woman and the man, the hair was shortened to the back. We can sort of see some of the clothes she's wearing. She doesn't look particularly happy. She's, she's, she's not smiling. But we can get a glimpse of what people were like uh, from, from, this, from this painting. And it's just extraordinary to look into her eyes and just think, what happened to her? Did she die in the eruption? Did she get out? You know, we don't know what happened to her. But she was a person who lived 2,000 years ago. So from all this artwork, paintings and writings, we can learn so much. And we, we, we have learned a lot from all those, all those things that have been found in Pompeii. Thank you.